Hi there, and welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. So, my latest trigger. <laughs> right, now, a few days ago, I was talking to a friend, and they were mentioning something about boundaries, right? And that someone was upset. Anyway, I don't want to go into the story because that's their, right there, life lesson. But the word boundaries really ruffled my feathers, really ruffled my feathers. And at the time, I was really focusing on that person and trying to fix that person that needed the boundaries, right? <laughs> but, you know, just as the universe, I mean, it loves us so much, it can't help, you know, but assist. I go on Facebook and, of course, every post I'm seeing, almost every second post is about, you guessed it, boundaries. So I was like, oh, what is going on, right? <laughs> I hate boundaries, right? Anybody that knows me, I hate rules and I hate boundaries, right? That's just me. Anyway, so I had to really sit with this and it was in a conversation with that same person, like four or five conversations later, because we were backwards and forwards with this, you know, and trying to resolve with this other person what their problem was. <laughs> <laughs> but it's never to do with the other person, right? It's exactly like Mother Teresa said. At the end of the day, it is never between you and them. It is between you and source. It's never about anything else. It's always about you, right? And your energy and what you're being. So, boundaries. I figured it out, right? So we're talking backwards and forwards and then the light bulb just went off in my head and I thought, oh, wow. Right, I've got it. When I was little, I was five years older than my sister. For those of you who don't know the story. So I was born first. Five years later, my sister came. While I was little, there were all these rules that I had to follow in the house, right? You can't do this, you can only do that, you have to go to bed by eight, you have to do this, you have to do that. I wasn't allowed to wear nail polish, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup, I wasn't, you know, all these rules, right? They were silly rules, but there were hundreds of rules, right, while I was growing up. But when it came to my sister's turn, these rules did not apply to her. And that is where my distaste for rules and boundaries came from now the way i see it right we are infinite beings we're infinite because we come from this energy that's infinite we're made of that energy we're energetic beings right we are spiritual beings living a human experience that is the truth of who we are so we are these beautiful energetic beings this energy and we are infinite if we are infinite, why do we need boundaries? You see, because as soon as I think boundaries, I think fences. I think fences. And I feel like so restricted and so limited and so confined. It doesn't feel infinite anymore, does it? I don't feel so infinite anymore. You know, uh, speaking to my friend, I was saying to them, all the teachings, all the things that, I've learned that I've passed on um, and that I share in all the videos, in all my books, everything that is given to me because these beautiful books were given to me by my guides, right? To pass on to you, mostly. But even the Your Past is a Gift was even then pushing me to write that story, right? If the people that watch these videos, the people that read my books, if they pass on this information to others, I would be absolutely thrilled, right? Because my intention is to bring about awareness, spiritual awareness. I'm trying to help you wake up to the fact that you are an energetic being, not this meat suit, this thing made of meat that you're walking around in. This is just your vessel that you're walking around in. You are an energetic being. Inside you is this glorious energy that I wish everybody could see. And all of a sudden, we'd all stop looking at each other like we're separate things from each other because we're all connected by this energy, right? As we are energy, it's all connected. It's like a wave in the ocean. Does it ever separate from the waves next to it? No, 
They're all waves of the same ocean. They're all connected in the same way that our energy is connected. It's exactly the same thing, right? So why would you need boundaries? You know, for me, it's like if my intention is for spiritual awareness, to give others spiritual awareness, and people read my stuff and people watch my videos and pass on the messages to others. That's wonderful. Because they're spreading the beautiful word of the spiritual awareness. They're helping others become spiritually aware of who they really are. You know, and in learning who you really are, there's a sense of joy and a sense of peace and a sense of connectedness that you don't have from looking at yourself as this human body, this physical body. When you're looking at yourself as a physical body and you're looking at everyone else as a physical body, just as I said that, don't you feel completely separate from everything? Like you're this separate thing to all these other beings that are around you? Instantly, as soon as you look at yourself as just this physical body and you're looking at all these other physical bodies outside of you, you instantly feel that you're separate from all of them. It's like you've become this wave that's sitting on the sand, but it's no longer part of the ocean. How is that even possible? It's just a wave. You're the wave sitting on the sand. And what, there's all these other little waves sitting on the sand next to you? Think about it because your energy, you're not this physical body. And my heart delights in the fact that one day people will spread the word, whether it's my word or Eckhart Tolle's word or uh, Muji's word. You know, that it's all the same information, all this beautiful knowledge that we're all passing on. It's already inside of you. It's already inside of me. It's already inside. It's, you've already been given this information. It's just a question of remembering, remembering who you are. So that was my trigger with the beautiful boundaries and people going on about having to set boundaries. Boundaries come when you are looking at yourself as separate from those around you. When you're not seeing that the beautiful beings that are outside of you have the same beautiful divine spark that is inside of you. You're not understanding that the beautiful energy that resides within you is also within them and I love the analogy of the ocean because that is exactly what the energy is like we are waves in the ocean one ocean one ocean we are never really separate because energetically we are one we can't be separate we see ourselves separate because oh, they have different bodies to ours, this physical body. But that's not who we are. So, you know, today I'd like you to think about that. Boundaries. When you think of boundaries or you feel you need to set boundaries, what is it that those boundaries are for? You know, because as soon as, look, even just now, talking about the word boundaries, I think of the words lack, scarcity, fear. We place boundaries because what, something's gonna be taken away from us? But if we are energy, and energy cannot be created or destroyed, how can anything be taken away from you? How? It's not possible. So, yeah, it's the scarcity and the lack for me, it's like they're going to take something away from you and then you're going to have less of that or look, I, I don't even know what the boundaries are for. I, I just can't get my head around. <laughs> uh, why? You know, if we are infinite beings, why do you need them? Um, yeah, because to me, a door may close. Yes, that door may close of, I created all of that, you know, and, and it was taken away, it was stolen, or whatever the words are. Look, I don't even want to use those words, but I'm just going by what I've been reading. <clears throat> and 
you know, um, I'm going to come back to the next video talking about stealing. This is a big conversation to come in the next one. Uh, about our thoughts. So if something is taken from you, is stolen from you or whatever, maybe you were never meant to have it. That door closed. You know, you created that. It was stolen from you. Someone else made a profit from it. Right? Because that's basically what it all comes down to. Right? What I'm reading online. So that door is closed. But for me, as an infinite being, if that door closes, there's going to be a thousand more doors open for me. A thousand more doors that will open. More opportunities. Something else will come. I was not meant to do that. You know? So I'm very much of the mind. If I met, if that is meant to be in my life, it will be. I don't need to force it. If it's not meant to be for me, then it won't be. No matter how much I fight for it, it won't be. It's not what my soul came here to experience. I'm not meant to have that. So there's no point fighting for something that's like you can see is not meant to come in. <laughs> you know? All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.